What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, as promised on my live feed, I told you I was going to do a video on 67P, the comet that looks like this giant peanut, right? Um, is it natural, meaning just simply a comet, nothing more than rocks and dust and everything else floating out in space, or is it much more than that? The little things I'm going to show you, and this is not going to be a long video, but the little things I'm going to show you have you scratching your head a little bit. Let me show you the photo we're going to be looking at. All right, so it's right here, and you can see it right here. It's from, uh, this is from ESA, uh, or the European uh, Space Agency. And this is from November 26. You can see here it's from the NAVCAM. So let's go down here, and it says right here, comment on 26th of November, NAVCAM, released uh, November 28th, 2014 at 3 p.m. And, of course, it has a copyright of uh, ESA, or ESA, uh, Rosetta, which is the small spacecraft uh, that was supposed to have landed on there, and, of course, it kind of failed, right? Uh, this uh, montage comprises four individual NAVCAM images taken from uh, 30.1 kilometers from the center of the comet, 67P. Churyumanov on 26th of November, 2014. The image resolution is 2.4 megapixels, and thus each original is 1,024 by 1,024 pixel frame measures, 2.4 kilometers across. Okay, so let me show you this. This is pretty cool. You can just go ahead and click on this, and you get the actual photo itself the the area that we're going to actually look at is right here and i'm going to go ahead and zoom in of course it's going to break up because this is not the largest photo and you see it's starting to get a little grainy the area we're going to be looking at is right here right as well as in this smaller shaded area and there's a couple white things sticking out of here and inside there again you'll see what i'm talking about it makes you wonder and it makes you question is this thing actually a spacecraft floating out in space and these are just instruments. You'll see what I mean. Let's get into this. Go over to here. Now, this is the original photo I just showed you. Now, I had these on my hard drive, and this one seems slightly different. And I mean, I'm talking just very slightly different than this one here, the one I just showed you. Okay, so let's zoom into that. All right, again, here's the area we're talking about in the shaded area, as well as these right here. Now, look at these things closely because this is, this is crazy. One here. Two here. Now I'm going to back up just a little bit. Got this 90 degree angle right here. And you can see these other 90 degree angles right here with these other pieces. Looks like a, a circle right here going down. But that's not what got me look, really looking at this. I'm looking at these pieces right here. There's one and then there's two. And if you look at the bottom here, and it's hard to see because it is actually very sh shaded out. But I want you guys to take note of this. In the back of these, this goes up like this and then comes back down. So in other words, this shadow, because the sun's coming from this direction, is, is not really hitting the one here on the left. Again, sun coming down. This being lower, this area here being lower, it actually shows a shadow right here of this one on the right. So these pieces are literally sticking out towards the actual f camera, right? And then right over here. Now let me show you what I've got. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I'm going to brighten it up, and we're going to see it a little bit better. i got three of these photos. Now let's go into this one. Now you can see these things a whole lot better, right? Check these out. What in God's green earth are these things? Okay. You can see again what we have. This area here, area here, and again, this these things or this this pot of this rock is actually got these pieces surrounded. You know what these things remind me of? The end of a Q-tip. That's what they remind me of. You can see it right here. It goes like this, but then it comes out fatter than that. It comes out like this, and comes back down. This one, same thing. I'm going to show you this a little bit better, and you can see right here. Note the area right here. It goes like this. You can see this, and it has this open blacker spot here in the bottom of this one. Now, let me clean that back off so you guys can see that. All right, so let's see if we can sharpen this up a little bit. And that's what we got. Now I'm just going to pull back a little bit. I don't know what those things are, guys, but you can clearly see. It looks like you can see something right here where this thing is literally coming out of, coming up like this. And it looks like this one here is a little bit narrower than this one here. And you can see the way they actually stand out from the rest of... Let's just pull back just a little bit. 
Look at the way they stand out from this rest of this rock. Now, this area up here. You can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and just circle this area. There's some piece of white something right here, and it goes down like this. There's one right here. Now I'm going to show you the photo I've got where I uh, just did the next one. I, it's brightened up, and you can see this area a whole lot better, as well as this area and my enhancements. Okay. Now, let's have a look at this. You can see these things much better now. Right here. What could that possibly be, guys? Seriously, what could that be? I'm going to go back to the darker one just for a moment. And again, you can see this piece right here going like this. It's like it's surrounding these objects right here. See that? Whatever the whatever the hell these things that they look like instruments, something sticking out, and like to I don't know how to explain it, what they could be. And here's the other pieces here, and the shadowed out area. It almost looks like there's a set of instruments sticking out of this thing. And look at just back up and look at the way this thing is just sticking out of this rock. It makes no damn sense. This thing, and I've I've done a video on this. I think I've done more than one video on this back in the day. Uh, where I analyze it's actually rotated in a different spot. And you can see this thing quite easy. Well, not these particularly, because I did, like, it looked like framework on this, on this rock, on this comet. It looks like framework on different parts of the body of it. Now, here's a good example. This is what I'm talking about. When you bring down the brightness of this thing, let me just go here for real quick. Okay. Look how bright this is right here. Okay. When you bring down the brightness, it has this weird mush look to it. See it right there now? Because it's been fooled with. It's been smoothed out. Uh, you can see these other areas where it seems to be fine. This is in the shade even. Look at it. Even this is bright, bright, but yet doesn't look as bad as that. And then there's other areas that are actually smoothed out purposely. You can see it right here. Yeah, this, this to me is no rock, guys. It's no comet. Uh, I believe this is some kind of weird spacecraft. And what's better way to disguise something? Or even if it is it is a rock, maybe they built on it purposely. It just maybe it has like um, small thrusters. It can actually go around objects and stuff like that. And it just continues on through the solar system or wherever they want it to go. And they can just do all kinds of tests about, you know, planets they pass, uh, other bodies out in the solar system or otherwise outside our solar system. Um, whatever the hell that thing is, that's just crazy. And you see, I try to bring this stuff out as much as I could. And that's just, this is what we end up with. What are they? Again, they remind me of giant Q-tips, just the ends of them, right? What is that? And what are these other things here in this? And you see something right here. It's like white, white. And you can see, like, it kind of goes like this in the inside of this. I'm not sure if that's actually what it looks like. But it, see how it goes like this? And then you can see the other piece going like this. And it kind of has this shape and then there's just a little tip of one here and then this one here in the middle see that i i don't know what these things are to me they would look like instruments sticking out of what's supposed to be a comet a rock floating out in space you guys be the judge to me that's just crazy when i seen that i was just like why is the why are these things here see that that to me guys that's crazy look at that like I said, guys, just want to do this quick one. I told you I would show you this. This is cool. So the question is, like I said, are we looking at, is this an actual rock, a comet out in space? Or is it something more than that? Did they build something into it so that it could just go about flying through the solar system and outside exosolar system and see different things? And like I said, let's say it is natural. Okay, well, I'm good with that. But these here, these pieces here tell otherwise. They tell otherwise. I don't think that's natural here, nor here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to back out of this. Tell me what you what you think is going on. I know you guys have seen other videos. In fact, uh, The Real Jimmy Roberts has done something uh, on this 67P as well. Did a really great observation of things sticking out of it. Looks like poles and pipes sticking out of this thing. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's not natural. It's either they built something into it, and it's still a natural comet, or it's been disguised as one. And again, it's just floating out in space, and they could just take all kinds of tests as it's going through space. I don't know. Uh, your guess would be as good as mine. So drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. You know, like and definitely share the video. People need to see these things, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated.
and I'll see you in the flip side.